In this video, we're going to take a portrait of the model and using me journey to place in Cyberpunk City. First, what I want to do is going inside the settings and you type forward slash settings to open and be sure we set stylization low. We don't need it. We want to have it consistent as much as possible. I am enable remixing mode, high variation mode, so you will have a different type of environment, but you can also keep it to low variation mode. And currently I'm running in a fast mode, but it is will work in relax mode as well. From all of the settings, probably most important model we're using and low stylization. Next, what we want to do, it's upload image. I'll show you what's problem first. You probably will have it and how overcome. Let's go ahead, click upload image. We go select our image and here is our full image. Notice what is happening. Okay, let me go press enter. So it's processing to upload. Here we have a full image. Now we're going to go and expand, right click, copy image address. In Mac, you probably just copy image. This is what it will have a full information. At this moment, if I want to go to type imagine, we'll paste our path and we also go ahead and paste what we wanted. It is portrait of the woman cyberpunk city. So just simple, nothing. We can also add maybe um, three by two. Oops. This will give me error because I did not type properly. Let me just copy this one. Imagine and we just have it three by two to match our dimensions. In this way, most likely variation that's happened. We won't have it close enough. We will have it same coloring, same everything, but probably portrait won't match. So if you complete, if we preview, you can see definitely faces does not match. It's much some coloring, maybe a little bit on a posing, but not face. The reason is because um, mid journey need to analyze all positions, everything we need minimize what information is need to work with. For this, we're going inside uh, any editing software. I'm going inside the Photoshop and I'm just going to crop this image okay, right here. And we want to crop just to the face. Don't worry about pose. Of course, if you want to create a pose as well, I'll, we can do this later. But right here, we crop to minimize just the face. It's all what is important. After this, you also probably want to make it square. Uh, we'll easy process one by one. But this is face and we want to save. After this, inside the mid journey, we need to go ahead and download it, upload on our server. The port, we just save it. Okay, it's take a few seconds till it's processing our upload. The other tip I also will recommend is make description of this image. It will help us to put all details. For this, we'll go forward slash and have it describe the new function. We'll go select this. Select same image as before. And we can do portrait. If you want, you can extend different. But for now, we'll just do this one and click enter. Right here, we have multiple dis um, descriptions as well as the size if we need it, but all what we care about this description on the top. So right now, let's go ahead, click on our first portrait, right click, copy image address. Next, we're going in a prompt, type imagine, paste our um, image. Next, I want to go just copy this path we have it on the top, space, paste this path space and let's go put it IW it's a stand for image weight we want to maximum on our image weight and we'll press enter okay let's look what we have here is our image and we look closer we definitely have it similar jawline so it's come very close to this of course you can run several few times and find one that you may like it. But for now, I'm just going using this number three. So I'm going to upscale this image. Next step, I actually want to save this image. For this, let's click open, open in the browser, and we're saving this image. After this, let's go back to our mid journey. 
And at this point, I want to actually use it blend command. So with the blend, we have a two images, we have more than two. But for this, I want to just take an image that we have it and blend a little bit more with original, even add more features because I see the jar maybe does not all the way match. This way we can receive even better fine tune our face. Okay, so right here we have our image and let's go just press enter. Okay, here's our blend and we can definitely see this one is look like almost perfect. That's what I wanted if we look on this face from different perspective. I think the two is excellent. Let's go ahead, upscale this. Next step, we will going to utilize a new functions. It is a zoom and also panning. So first I want to create a zoom. So for this, I go ahead and click custom zoom. Notice what we have it. We have the images kind of already have it information for us before this actually I want to go up and maybe copy some information what we have it from our describe but you remember before we have it full picture so let's go ahead and same describe on our full image I'm going to type the command describe and upload our image okay we're going to just simple drag and drop let's press enter Okay, so right here we have our descriptions. Let's click on our new image, right click. We'll go copy image address, just in case if we need it. But usually if we go just custom zoom, it will be, should be right in that here. Okay, well, I don't need actual copy. I'm just going to copy the path all name. We don't need it aspect ratio, custom zoom. Right there before stylization, space and paste. And also on a zoom, it says two instead of 1.1.2, just a little bit. So the nice things about what the zooming will does, it will preserve all face and you can see right here, but it will expand because we cut off top of the head or body. But this way we preserve it and we can start adding details into this. So right here we have it ours and you can see it's extended at the sum necklace. At this point, you don't necessarily need to do this. We can also just already start working if we want to preserve just the face at this time. We can put it images and right here we can put it. So, suburban girl, we just put it all of this stylization very low. Um, we could add more stylization at this point if you need it. We can even go with very high because at this time we locked the portraits. All what we're doing is work around to do this way. And let's go pop up zoom 1.5 just to experiment and see how this compare again this is with our analysis and you can see how it's created we can do same things just select till this is processing we can go process one of this photo and maybe even zoom more out okay again you can see how we're preserving those elements of the face this is actually what is most important but notice we also add this effect and I do like how it's come up. So in this case, we have the same face kind of right here preserving and we're adding element. I think maybe stylizations again, a little bit too high. We want to reduce because it may affect some of the options, but it is preserving for what we wanted for our face. And let's, for example, if I may want to rework this face a little bit more because you see it's add some hair, but example, if I like it, We'll go to upscale this one and let's go upscale how say upscale one more version two on this one as well. Okay, after this upscale, we just go down, um, pan down in this case. We leave it everything as default. We can, yeah, stylization. I think all of this will be about right. And we can probably just remove this. Let's go ahead, click submit. Again, panning, same like a zoom. It's one effect that our middle image, it will expand only those areas that is not there. So in this case, our face still exactly the same. All that we do, we added something more closer to the bottom. So we expanding. And of course, this is you can repeat several times. You can pan in specific direction. And if you like it, what you have, you actually can still zoom out. And interesting things, if you prefer zoom out at this time, this is will actually add elements around this. So it will add on the top. It's won't cropped in. 
it will add more square to this, which is actually a very nice function in this case if you want to take all what you develop and kind of put it all in one single image and continue expanding from that. Okay, right here, it's what I was saying. You can see it is expanding more on the side, a little bit on the top, but it does add sides. A little bit faster way than just panning, but keep in mind that when we pan in different directions, we increase in resolution. It does not reduce resolution of the main image. When we zoom out, it's taken and put it every back, everything back to 1024 by 1024. So you will lose some of this extra resolution you gain by panning in a specific direction. Okay, and right here, our image. So you can see it's add elements right here. We don't have it. So let's click on a two. You can say at this time, we have it the same facial on a look up. We can specify what position of head we want to have it, but we are preserving some what elements was before the facial and we applied same things we can apply with uh, this image when I upscale um, we can pan down and again pan down will work and we can see woman posing a necklace yeah let's go keep it same for now our stylization is very low just example you can see when it's a stylization very high we may lose some of the character so it's the reason why we set at the beginning stylization very low but let's see what's happening with stylization 50, the lowest we can have it. And we can keep it all the descriptions that we're receiving from our describe command. Okay, let's go scroll down. And right there, you can see how it's expanding, adding some nice elements. From this point, we can expand more. Again, if we want it, let's go just select one. Or we can... Um, zoom out more or panning so in this case it is in whatever direction you decide to go you can easily expand your image and add more and more details same like if we go zoom out with two notice i prefer to use it actually custom zoom because custom zoom it will ask us for remix prompt and it's the reason why we enabled the remix before so we can use it this option of windows where we're going inside and we can modify our prompt that we're using just zoom straight on won't necessarily accept our commands and this is whatever command was before it's what what's happening here and here our image you can see we have it very nicely i like actually this one for so we can play around and you can adjust so here's a one way another things you can create a more very similar face is by using blending on the same character but different images so let me show what i was meaning by this we're going again type command blend and reason why we're doing this we need to have this image reference inside that we like it and from that image we can expand more and more and as we long using same seed and everything that mid journey created we will have it same consistency it's reason why we need to combine and create in mid journey the image that resemble for us so right here i have an image of the same model in two different angles we'll go click blend on this well if you don't have it there two same you can just take a same image and flip it horizontally if you do put it same exactly image the mid journey says hey the image is exactly the same i cannot blend but if you are even flip them that is will recognize as two different images so this way you can blend those two images as a one so this is another little teeny tiny trick and of course here's a from our first blending on two models you can see it's look exactly the same when we do this way the models look perfectly because it only two images was blending from what we have it so this way we can use it any of this model and here is our image that we just flip around and you can see it's the same model look left and right is what we've done before and of course because it asserts only two images they will resemble very close to our original model that we put it in so this is just a small things how you can create it with the blending the important blending for us because we have now our image that we're going to work so i'm going upscale like version 4 and from this point, I can create whatever 
I interested for example I'm going to custom zoom we'll have it zoom to the maximum and we can put it um, portrait of the cyberpunk girl middle of the neon street you can put it whatever like maybe even steampunk whatever you want it so we'll just go right there let me fix my spelling and here we have it our render you can preview we have it same exactly face as before and in different backgrounds and this is also how you can replace backgrounds if you need it by taking blending images and using them so hopefully this is tips was helpful for you to ensure the consistency and exactly the same image that you're using or portrait you reference inside the mid journey and based on this you can create another images thank you for watching please subscribe give us thumbs up share this video i greatly appreciate all of yours